for much of California, candidly, all of the West Coast, they're all struggling with the same issues, which is a rising rate of homelessness and a lack of affordable housing. We felt that we wanted to change the model of how investments were made in low-income communities. Solar Impact is a real estate fund. We invest in building and rehabbing apartment buildings in historically overlooked, underinvested neighborhoods, but we also focus on making investments that ultimately benefits the tenants and the broader community. I started investing in South LA, Watts, Compton. Most people, when they hear South Central Los Angeles, they think about the Bloods and the Crips, the LA riots, the crack cocaine epidemic. You've got to change the narrative of what's possible in low-income black and brown communities. I probably don't think about the, like the same things a lot of stable 20-somethings think of. It's like I had to think about when the next time I was gonna take a shower, where am I gonna sleep that night? You can't worry about like your future at all. We're currently building 1,500 units that are in various stages of construction. Many other of the traditional affordable housing developers that are using government subsidies are building at $500,000, $600,000, a door. Today, we can build at $250,000 a door. We really started with looking for construction efficiency. So we started with panelization, where you pre-frame the wall assemblies off-site and you crane those in place. We have 84 of these units, all pre-manufactured in a factory right now, in different stages of production. And all of the framing waste fits in one standard size trash can. Wow. You got your cabinets, countertops, appliances set, all the trim, doors, lights, everything as you see it. So all those things together equal how we keep the price so low. We've been able to raise over $300 million of demand in our last fund, and that will allow us to build three to 4,000 units in the Southern California area. And so it allows us to really continue to move the needle in addressing the real problem. Having a stable place to live definitely takes that burden off your shoulders. Just very grateful, very thankful, very happy that I'm in this environment but you have to do more than just provide affordable housing. And so for us, that was a beehive. So Martin, tell us a little bit about this space. This is awesome. It's like a campus. It is a campus. This is the Sola Tech and Entrepreneurship Center. And our goal here is to educate thousands of young people in the broad set of skills needed to be successful in the technology world. My greatest joy is when I see the young people interact with the technology, often for the first time, and they're going, is this all for us? Is this for free? And it is. We have now hundreds of young people coming through the tech center. In five to 10 years, we'll just see a number of folks that have graduated from here that are doing incredible things in their community. This is a pretty cool after school spot <laughs> that I would have loved. In areas that other people were ignoring, you could really find good value and you could really build a good sustainable business and really give back to the community in a way that was not um, compromising your returns, but really adding to sort of the health and well-being of the tenants. If somebody learns from our model, finds ways to improve it and does it in Philadelphia or Tulsa, Oklahoma, hallelujah. <laughs>